So we're going to go over second order rate laws, uh, the integrated rate law for a second order reaction. So this again is going to be some sort of A goes to products type reaction. And remember that the actual reaction does not tell us what the order of this is in terms of kinetics. We do know that the rate law looks like this, R um, k squared equals k squared. So uh, this is the rate of change of A and it's equal to k squared. And so again, if we, if we use just the touch of calculus, we can end up with uh, an expression that looks like this. One over A at time T is equal to K, the rate constant times time, plus one over A over time zero. And uh, if we were to plot that, one over A naught being on one side and time being on the other, we would get an something that slopes upward like this, where the slope of that line would be equal to k, because this is our y equals mx plus b form of a line. Now we can figure out the half-life for this as well, simply by making the value at time t equal to half of that we started with. So if I just plug this number in for there, I get that kt plus 1 over, and that's, an, you know, that's a concentration over a naught. Um, simplifying this looks like this. I'll drop the brackets for the moment, just for less writing. And then I get to subtract 1 from a naught from both sides, so this ends up being 1 over a naught equals kt. And um, if I were to, if I, and this is at one half. Okay, so that means that this is the half-life. So I can figure out, if I know the um, rate constant, then I can figure out the half-life. If I know the half-life, I can figure out the rate constant, as long as I know the initial concentration of a naught, which is cool. Now, um, let's put this to use. So I've got this reaction here, NO2 goes to NO and oxygen. And it's got a second order rate constant of 0.255 uh, per molar per second. So what are, and the initial concentration is 0.01 molar NO2. So how much NO2 remains after this reaction has been going for 2000 seconds? All right, so let's just kind of plug into the reaction that we have. I don't know NO2 at some time T. But what I do know is 0.255 2,000 seconds. Here, seconds and seconds are there, so I don't have to make any changes to time. And then I'm going to add that to the initial concentration, 0.0100. And the nice thing is this side of the expression is all numbers, so I just have to, you know, evaluate it and say that 1 over NO2 is 610. And um, the way that I solve this is I basically take the reciprocal of both. So I flip this over and I flip this over. So this becomes um, NO2 becomes 1 over 610. And that ends up being 0 0.00164 molar. The nice thing about this, um, we can take a look and see. Uh, 0.00164 molar is significantly less than what I started with, 0.01 molar. So that means after 2,000 seconds, a whole lot of this stuff has disappeared. If this number were to be bigger, this number would be smaller because the reaction's gone on for longer. Okay, so I hope that helps with second order rate laws.